this video, I'm going to show you how to add a portrait mode effect to your footage and even gain control of the depth of field after it was shot. I'll show you exactly how to get the best results and mimic a anamorphic bokeh. But enough talking, let's just get straight into it. So first thing you'll want to do is duplicate your clip and add the depth scanner effect to it. Set the base resolution to very high, the edge enhancement to high, and the sharpened edges to medium. Set the samples between 8 and 16 depending on how good your computer is, and change the mapping mode to raw. As you can see, we now have full control over the depth map. Next, add a Gaussian blur effect and just leave it like that. We're going to be using it later on. We can now turn off the depth map layer, create a new adjustment layer, and add the camera lens blur effect to it. What you want to do is change the layer source to the depth map layer and set it to effects and masks. Make sure you turn on this invert function and as you can see when we start playing with the blur, it is working with the depth map. You can now use the depth multiplier to choose the focus distance of the effect. If you want to do a rack focus effect, you can go ahead and keyframe this, but now I'm going to show you how to mimic the anamorphic look and just change the aspect ratio of the blur to 0.1 or 0.2 and as you can see, it stretches the bokeh vertically. We got some weird ghosting around the subjects, so we're going to clean it up using the Gaussian blur we created earlier. As you can see, the effect now looks a lot cleaner, but if you want to focus on the foreground instead of the background, you can go to the camera lens blur effect and use the blur focal distance to do just that. As you can see, the final result looks super realistic from a shot to another. And if you're dealing with nighttime scenes, make sure to play around with the highlight gain to get the most realistic results possible. That's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. And like always, if you're trying to level up your edits, make sure to check the first link in the description down below where you'll find all of my packs and plugins. But on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.